Good morning, St. Francis. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friday, April 8th. Today is the feast day of St. Julie Billiard. Julie Billiard was born in Belgium in 1751. Her uncle, the village school teacher, taught her to read and write. She especially loved to study religion. In fact, when she was just seven, Julia would explain our Catholic faith to other little children. When her parents became poor, she worked hard to help support the family. Yet she always found time to pray, to visit the sick, and to teach religion. While she was still a young woman, she became very ill and completely paralyzed. Although helpless, St. Julie offered her prayers and pain so that many people would find out and believe how much God loves them. She was more united to God than ever and kept on proclaiming the truth about Jesus from her sickbed. Julia helped people grow closer to Jesus and practice their faith with more love. She encouraged all to receive Holy Communion often. Many young women were inspired by Julia's love for God, and with Julia as their leader, they started an order of nuns. To express their spiritual affection, they called her mother. Once a priest was visiting Julia, and they decided to pray together every day for nine days. This is called the Novena. On the Feast of the Sacred Heart, Mother Billiard, who had been paralyzed for 22 years, stood up. She was cured. St. Julie spent the rest of her life training young women to become sisters. She died on April 8, 1816. Today, let us pray for all those who are paralyzed and handicapped, so that they may find meaning and purpose in their lives. May God bless them as he did St. Julia. St. Julie Billiard, pray for us. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are no announcements today. We do have one birthday. Ileana in 8th grade. Happy birthday, Ileana. If you're wondering about my interesting shirt and tie combo, today would have been mismatch day for all of us at St. Francis. So hopefully you can have a little fun today and find some mismatch clothes to put on and enjoy a little casual time. Uh, congratulations on another week of accomplishment and another week of hard work. Please be on the lookout in your emails this afternoon and this evening for uh, progress reports to be sent home. They're really important to us that you know where your children stand and have a chance to see what you need to do to work on and, and be rewarded for all your hard work. Please know if you have questions about your progress report to reach out to us and we'll do our best to get you answers ASAP. Thank you for your continued support and hard work and certainly thank you for a great teacher appreciation week. Um, we received many heartfelt thanks and information from all of you and we're greatly appreciative given all the circumstances. Uh, we look forward to more good news from the governor in the coming days and weeks and we look forward to a time when we can all be together again very soon. God bless and have a great weekend, St. Francis.